good to be here in uh, New Jersey, and I guess in, in Whiting, New Jersey, here. it's good to be here on this Monday after, you know, week after Easter, and the time what they claim was a great crisis. So a few considerations, I know it's very late tonight, but uh, so we're getting closer and closer to a midnight mass, so just a few considerations, so in the name of the Father and the Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. We are in the sacred time of the victory of Easter, and our Lord Jesus Christ won the battle uh, on the cross, and a few considerations from the, the gospel, or rather the epistle of yesterday, which was given to the instruction to the young faithful, to the new faithful. There are three that give testimony in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But there are three that give testimony on earth, and now is the time for the three that give testimony on earth to go out and bear their testimony. And that is, there are three that give testimony on earth, which says the first verse in John chapter 5, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three are one. And we have to remember that the word devil, devil, diaboline, the devil is the one that rips apart. The devil is the one that tears apart. And he cannot stand the beautiful, harmonious world that God created. He made it so beautiful with so many thousands of parts. But these parts are all meant to fit together in one. The devil can't make anything, but he can rip things apart. And that's what he strives to do. And we must understand our holy faith must be in the spirit, in the water, and in the blood. It cannot be in the spirit only. This is made clear by St. Augustine, or St. Saint, Saint Augustine says, or rather St. Basil says, that if God wanted us only to praise him, he would have made us only with heads. Well, we happen to have arms, we happen to have legs, we happen to have passions, we happen to have a body, we happen to have a tongue, we happen to have a heart, and we happen to have things, we happen to have a home, we happen to have possessions, we happen to have time, and all of these are meant to be used to praise and worship God. And all these are meant to be used to carry the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost out into the earth. For there is one that is the truth. Jesus Christ, he is the truth. He said to his disciples on Holy Thursday night, after being with them for three years, three and a half years, I am the truth. Anyone can believe the truth. Remember on the day of judgment, everyone's going to believe the truth. But we must be the truth. The truth must be inside of me. I have to carry the truth. I have to be obedient to the truth. To hear the truth when I am away from it speaking to me. And therefore the truth cannot be only in my spirit like the Protestants say. As long as you believe in Jesus. As long as you believe it doesn't matter what you do. As uh, Luther the great evil priest said. Sin, believe, sin boldly but believe more boldly. That all that matters is that you believe. No, that is not all that matters. We must have the Spirit, but it must also have the water. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. These three have to be in us. And as we travel through the year, every year we have a liturgical year. Every year Christ is born on Christmas. Every year he dies on Good Friday. Every year he rises from the dead on Easter Sunday. Every day we have a holy sacrifice of the Mass. Jesus Christ dies in an unbloody manner in that holy Mass. And there is the victory over the devil. And it's repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated. Why is that? Because the testimony of the one victory of Christ must become real in me. The crucifixion must become real in me. The resurrection must become real in me. The faith must become real in me. And it takes time to beat it into myself, to pound it in. You must eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have to exercise. You have to do these things every day in order for your body to stay alive. But in order for us to, to do our work and carry Christ to the end of the world, he must be in our spirit, in our water, and in our blood. For these three give testimony on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And Christ said, if you do not bear testimony to me before men, I will not bear testimony to you before the Father. And we will then be forgotten and damned in hell. We must bear testimony. In the spirit, in the water, and in the blood. That is what the good thief did upon the cross, St. Dismas. First he heard Christ say, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they do. First he saw the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of Heaven, stand at the foot of the cross. And then he believed. But then he bore testimony. And he said, we, we deserve, we bear. He said to the other thief, Gesmos, St. Dismas said to him, We bear the just rewards of our crimes. He washed away his sin. 
by, by a confession to the humanity of Jesus Christ. Just like Christ asks us to wash away our sins by kneeling before the humanity of a priest. And kneeling before him and saying, Father, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And we wash away our sins in water. And the, and the, the, the saving grace of water flows up over us and sin is wiped away. And then we have to wash away the sins of our water because our bodies become soiled during life. And we wash away the sins by living good life, by, by carry, speaking to Christ and others out in the world. So that it's not only in the spirit of my mind, it's also in the water of my actions, in the water of a good confession. But it must also be in the blood. And the blood is our life. The blood is the divine life inside of us. The blood is sanctifying grace. The blood is charity. So that I must have the love of God the love of God's creation inside of my mind, inside of my heart, and I must spread it throughout the world. So let's ask that love of God to be deeply inside of us and that we carry Christ in spirit, in water, and in blood to the ends of the earth. So it's very late tonight, so we won't give a, a, a three-hour sermon. And I just simply just pray that, that uh, you know, we carry this great feast of Easter and the great truth of our faith to the very ends of the earth. And we close that God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.